Hello, this is Alex from Music Sequence Scene, and a little while back I showed a video on how I set up Logic to be controlled by my MIDI controller. And I got a few questions about how I did the custom programming of my MIDI controller and how you can do that. So I'm going to show you how I programmed my M-Audio Oxygen keyboard so you can do it yourself if you want to. So the strategy behind this is basically all of the knobs and faders and buttons are programmed to MIDI control changes that are undefined. And if you look closely at your keyboard, I don't know if you can see it on mine, there are numbers here. So this says C1, C2, C3, C4, etc. If we go to MIDI.org and we look at the control change message definitions, um, you'll see that C1, C2, the like 1 and 2 are defined, the mod wheel, the breath controller. But if we go all the way to 102, it's undefined. So 102 through 119 are one defined. Well, this goes up to 17, so that's great. So these are one, 102 up to 117. Now this one I have on control change 11 because that is a common control change that I use. It's expression, it's for controlling volume in um, various orchestral instruments and choir instruments and such. Okay, and these ones, 18, 19, um, up to 30, if we go back down here, you'll see that 18 is a general purpose and 30 is up to 30, they're undefined. I know what these control changes are on my keyboard and I know that they won't affect any synthesizers or any instruments on their own, so I won't get anything random happening. Okay, so to program this keyboard, first thing you want to do is press the select button until you see this period right here move all the way to the right. So one more time, it's over to the right. There are 10 presets uh, built in here, and by pressing these arrow keys, you can navigate between the presets. Now, to program a control change to a specific knob or fader, the first thing you want to do is move it so you know it's selected. It'll show you what is programmed there. So let's say I wanted to program this to 55 instead of 11, just randomly. You press the edit button, and on here you'll see there's things written. One says control assign, so that assigns um, a control change. So you press control, and then over here you can see there are numbers written. So you can quickly go 55, and then over here it says enter up here, enter. All right, now when I move it around, it'll say 55. Now you're not done, because if you change the preset and go back, or if you would turn it off and you move it, it went back to 11, it's not on 55. So Let's go back again, 55, enter. You need to do edit, store. So this one says store right here. And then enter. And then before you press enter, you want to choose which preset. So we are on preset one, enter. So now if I change it and go back, it's still 55. Okay, so I'm going to put that back to 11 and store it. Now you don't want, need to press store after every single control change. You know, I would do 11, 102, 103, whatever. Do all of these and then store it in preset one. Then do all of these, store it in preset one, etc. So what I have is for every preset, if you go to preset two and I'll move something, you'll see here in logic that channel two is what's moving. So the way I did this, instead of like going to preset two and programming every single one of these to do this quickly, you know, this one's already programmed. So you just press edit, store, and then you go to channel two, and that will copy it over. And then once you've copied it over, you just go to edit global channel and then choose channel two. And when you assign the global channel 
You don't need to do edit store. It'll stay. It'll stay. It will stay stored in um, the memory here. Uh, one last thing to say. So they're all the same except for their different MIDI channels. So I'm on preset five. You see up in Logic here that preset channel five, MIDI channel five is moving. Um, the only thing is in channel 10, preset 10, it's not channel 10, it's channel 11, you'll see. And the reason that is, is these pads up here are all mapped to channel 10. And um, so this is a D2 on channel 10. And if I had this keyboard, you know, the global channel on channel 10, um, this, this key would be the same as this, and I didn't want that. So I changed channel 10 to channel 11. There are pictures on music sequencing of how everything is set up that will make it very clear. I hope this helps. If you have any other questions, just write me in the comments. And please like and subscribe if you can. Peace.